This concludes our scripture reading for this morning. Would you please stand for a word of prayer? Let us go to our Father. Our Father, our God, it's again that we come to you to offer up this worship service to you, Father, to thank you for your grace, your love, and your mercy. But more than that, Father, to thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who died that we all might live. Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for the events of this day, that we have you in our presence, Father. And we thank you for being you and for being in each of our lives. Yes, Lord. But more than that, Father, we thank you for, for choosing each of us to convict such that we, too, might have an access to you, Father. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Today we have a special person to share the word with us. Surely. Brother Dardar from wow. Fort Worth. Thank you for him. Thank you for his talent and his ability to share the word. Yes, thank you, Father. But, Father, we just thank you for being you and for being who you are to us in our lives. Father, we thank you for continuing to bless us with the myriads of blessings that you have for us and that we can literally wallow in your love because you surround us and we thank you for continuing to protect us and to guide us every day of our lives. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Father, for the things that are seen and the things that are not seen. And we thank you, Father, for, for giving us a, a road map to you through the words of your son, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, there are some among us that have fallen. In particular, uh, today, Brother Bruce Fisher, our our, one of our guards, he's not a guard, he's a member of the body, and he has been forever. He's not well today, and we ask a special blessing on him that you touch him and that you touch the people who have to take care of him, Father, that he too might be made well again. This is our prayer. Father, we just know that only you can heal all of our illnesses, and we know that you can heal all of our shortcomings, and that you can, Father, we know that you have made us as we are, and you've taken care of us all the days of our lives, yesterday, today, and forever. We thank you, Father. We ask a special blessing on this meeting that we are convening today. And Father, we ask a special blessing on those who come and hear your word preached and that it might find a resting place in their hearts and that they might be led to you. Father, all we can say is thank you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Hey, how I feel this morning, church? Boy, that was real weak. That's all right, though. <laughs> I love to praise him. Hey, I, I love, love to praise him. Yeah, I love, I love to praise him. him. Hey, Lord, I, love I love to praise him. his name. I love to praise mm -hmm. him. Yeah, Lord, I love to praise him. Lord, I love to praise him. Yeah. 
Jew. Well, he's just a Jew. He's just a Jew. Hey, that I have oh, I love to praise him. Yeah, I love to praise him, May Lord. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him, yeah, Lord. I love to praise him. Well, I love his holy name. Well, he's my rock. He's my rock. Uh huh. My rock, my sword and shield. Oh, stay on me, please. He's the Just a Jew that I have found. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. 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 I love to praise his name. Sing it again. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Lord. And he's a wheel, oh yeah, uh -huh. in the middle of the wheel. Well, I know him never, I know he'll no, never, no, no, never, no, never no. let me down. Well, he's just a Jew, he's just a Jew. yeah, I know I am, I am the Lord, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. I love to praise his name. Sing it again. Let every head be bowed and every eye be closed. Father, it is once again that a few of your humble servants have gathered between these consecrated walls with our feet on this hallowed ground to give you glory, to give you honor, and to give you praise. We realize this morning that there is no God like our God. For you have all power in the palm of your hand. And you do all things extremely well. Father, before we ask you for anything, we want to first of all say thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for starting us on our way. Thank you for the mobility of our limbs and the ability to put one foot in front of the other. Father, right now we thank you for being our mother when we were motherless. Our father when we were fatherless. And thank you even right now, dear God, for snatching us out of the cesspool of sin and setting our feet on solid ground. And so we declare this morning on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is a sinking sand. Right now, dear God, we come asking you to do for us as you have done in time past. And that is to answer the age old question, is there any word from the Lord? Use me right now, dear God, strip me of myself. And clothe me with your spirit. Give me preaching power that I may be able to extract and even to extrapolate from your word divine those things that can be made applicable in the lives of the hearers. 
And Father, when it is your time to call and our time to answer, when we've sung our last song and prayed our last prayer, drank our last cup of sorrow and wound up our last bowl of trouble, and this whole world can't afford us a home any longer, when we must die because we cannot live, give us a home, O oh God, in your heavenly kingdom where we can be forever blessed, where we can serve the Father and the Son throughout eternal ages. For it is in the powerful and the potent name of Jesus that we pray. Let every heart respond by saying, Amen. Oh, good morning, Figueroa. If God has been good to you, will you give him a hand clap of praise in the house of the Lord? Come on, you ought to do it like you really mean it. Come on, you ought to clap like your hands on fire for the Lord. Hasn't he made a way out of no way? Hasn't he been there for you when you were all by yourself? He's a mighty good God. We are forever grateful that he has brought us this far by faith, leaning on his everlasting arm. I'm just happy to be here. I am he, hyena happy and peacock proud uh, to be here this morning. The devil tried everything he could. Uh, to thwart this opportunity, but uh, we're going to make the devil mad this week. Uh, I said, we're going to make the devil mad this week. I'm fishing for a witness. I shouldn't have to fish this long. I said, uh, we're going to make the devil mad this week. Uh, we, we, uh, we were packing our clothes and uh, getting ready to get on the, uh, to the airport and got a text message saying uh, that our flight was canceled. Uh, so uh, we got on the phone and tried to get another flight and there's six, uh, seven of us flying and so uh, trying to get seven people on the same flight and uh, so they finally found us a flight but it wasn't a direct flight. They was flying us from Dallas to San Francisco, from San Francisco to LAX. Uh, got to the airport, they said it was a two hour delay uh, which ended up being a four hour delay. Uh, and so I went to the counter and said, are we going to make our connection in San Francisco? She said, oh, absolutely not. Uh, uh, she said, no, no, no. So she said, uh, you can get to San Francisco, uh, but there are no flights from San Francisco to L.A. until tomorrow. I said, well, no, ma'am, that, that, that can't work. I said, uh, uh, how, how long of a drive is? She said, oh, about six hours. I said, no, ma'am, that won't work. Uh, so uh, she said, well, I said, well, about the neighboring uh, airports? And so she tried every airport, couldn't get anything. Uh, one flight had four flights. I said, well, no, I can't leave the babies. Uh, so what are we going to do? So finally, LAX. So we got a car and drove to LAX about an hour, got to LAX, fighting the traffic to find out our bags were not there. Uh, and so uh, that's all our church clothes. That's all... Uh, praise the mighty name. Uh, so, uh, so we were trying to find a place, but I in, see in Texas, Walmart stays open 24/7. Uh, found out in LA that is not the case. Uh, so looking this morning, uh, but but Jesus didn't wear a suit, so y'all pray for me. Uh, I just I got something to say this morning. Uh, pray for your preacher, Brother Hawkins. He is playing uh, on the runway uh, and uh, getting, finally getting out of Dallas and the pilot didn't show up. Uh, and so they said, no, you want to sit. The devil don't want us here. I said, but well, we about to make him mad this week. Uh, I want to introduce to you my family. Uh, last time I was here, I was here by myself. Uh, but this time I brought my family with me. We're going to be here all week and then we're going to do a family vacation in San Diego. And so uh, we're going to be gone two weeks and I'm just, I'm glad to be gone. Uh, but I have my lovely wife with me of uh, six going on seven years. She looks better today than she did then. And uh, I said, girl, you're just getting finer and finer. And so... I'm going to let her stand up, but she got to hurry up and sit down because there's some brothers here. I don't want no trouble. Uh, Lamaria, will you stand? That's my beautiful wife. And our 
two-month-old baby, our two-month-old baby, our third son, I believe our other sons are in children's church, Christopher Jr., who was sick last time I was here, Amari, uh, and that's Caleb. Uh, we just had him two months ago, and so he's fresh uh, and so we're glad to have him. Then my mother-in-law, my wife's mother, uh, is with us. She actually used to live in this area, uh, and she's with us now. Uh, Alice is with us, Alice Mitchell. Good to have her with us today. And then uh, my father, my road dog, my manager, my uh, well, you're my best friend. That's, that's my guy right there. The best daddy in the world, Kirby Dada. Good to have him uh, with us to uh, to uh, Dr. Holmes and to uh, the elders and deacons of this church. We are appreciative for this opportunity uh, to come and to share uh, this uh, religious conviction with you. Uh, the first time I was here, I was trying to fill y'all out. Y'all was trying to fill me out. Uh, but now I'm at home, so I might, I might say anything. Y'all just pray for me. Uh, well, God is so enough good. Turn with me uh, to the book of Luke. I'm going to read it again in your hearing. Luke chapter 17, starting at verse number 11. And if you would be my church this morning and stand in honor of the reading of the word. Uh, Luke chapter 17, verse number 11. Uh, very familiar passage of scripture. If you have it, say amen. Uh, if you don't, say wait on me. All right, all right. If you didn't bring your Bible, say just go on without me. I'm reading from the New International Version of the Bible. It says, now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. And as he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and cried out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity. King James says, mercy. Have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. Y'all don't know when to shout. And as they went, they were cleansed. I'm helping, I'm helping somebody this morning. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back. Uh, praising uh, Lord have mercy praising praising God this is revival isn't it uh, watch how he did it he wasn't quiet about it didn't care who was sitting next to him didn't care about his status but he cried out with a loud voice not only that, he threw himself down at Jesus' feet. What are you doing, man? He said, I'm thanking him. And watch what Luke says. And he was not a member of the church of Christ. Check this out. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were there not? Ten cleans? Where is the church of Christ? Where is the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said, watch this. It's going to hurt somebody's feelings. Rise. Go. Because your faith has made you well. Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. Not that neighbor, your other neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Uh, the least you can do is say thank you. You may be seated in the presence of God. The least you can do is say thank you. 
Lord have mercy. Tempted and tried, and we will off make to one day. Why it should be thus all the day long, and why there are y'all help me now. Why they're living about. Y'all know these old songs. They are never molested. <laughs> oh, oh, in the wrong will and father alone. Let me hear y'all figure out. Say no. Come on, say it like you mean it. Say father alone. My, my brother, brother come on my sister will you live in the sun shine yes it will understand I wish I had a witness in here oh, oh by and by well and the wind that has come. come anybody know what I'm talking about take it now take it now So we can hear out Yeah, yeah Say Father of the Lord We will know all about Say Father of the Lord We will understand why Standing all power. All this is my favorite verse right here. And so when we see Jesus, anybody want to see him one day? Come in, in glory. Yes, so when he, he comes from, he from his home in the sky.
live long enough and have seen enough birthdays and to understand that I did not make it to this place on my own. 